grand jury by Thursday at the latest. Your committee investigated Trump's role in the January 6th attack uh, extensively. You're also a lawyer. What crimes do you think he is likely to be charged with? Well, I don't know what he's going to be charged with, but we uh, referred four matters to the Department of Justice. Obstruction of an official proceeding, uh, conspiracy to defraud uh, the United States, submission of false statements, and incitement of insurrection. And we felt we had mountains of evidence to support each one of those four charges, which was why we sent them to DOJ. But of course, the uh, special counsel has been able to talk to some people who refuse to talk to us, for example, Mark Meadows. So he may have information we could not get that might support additional charges. We'll just have to wait and see. I interviewed uh, Trump's uh, chief rival, at least as of now, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis uh, earlier. Uh, when asked about these uh, potential charges, he said that he hopes Trump is not charged uh, and that it would bad, be bad for the American people. He said, if you want to defeat Donald Trump, do it at the ballot box, not in court. What would your response be to that? Well, it's absurd. This is not a political action. In fact, the special counsel was appointed so that the Biden administration would have no say in this. So it's completely independent to think it's, it's you know, that, what, Jack Smith should run for, for president is ridiculous. Uh, and the idea that because someone is a candidate for president, that they should, are above the law, that's, that's not what our country is about. No one is above the law. And I think actually all of the individuals who were the foot soldiers, they attacked the police. Uh, in the case of the Oath Keepers and others, they engaged in seditious conspiracy. But they were the low-level people and that only the low-level people would be held to account and not the generals who orchestrated this, that, that would not be right. Democratic Congresswoman Zoe Lofgren of California, thank you so much. Good to see you.